St. Patrick's imprint can be found even today on the character of the Irish people and on all of us who trace our roots to Ireland. President Reagan loved all holidays, but he held a special fondness for St. Patrick's Day as it tied directly into his Irish roots. He also had a huge affinity for the University of Notre Dame. As he said at their commencement exercise in 1981, Growing up in Illinois, I was influenced by a sports legend so national in scope it was almost mystical. It is difficult to explain to anyone who didn't live in those times. The legend was based on a combination of three elements, a game, football, a university, Notre Dame, and a man, Newt Rockney. There has been nothing like it before or since. President Reagan was gifted this Notre Dame football, Special Edition 1846, which contains the signatures of Heisman Trophy winners, including Tim Brown from 1987, Leon Hart from 1949, Paul Hornung from 1956, and Angelo Bertelli from 1943. So on this St. Patrick's Day, I express the best wishes of the people of the United States to our cousins and friends, the people of Ireland. Oma Cree, Hamak. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you for joining us for this week's Monday Minute in the Archives. Join us next week as we share our next treasure.